Thank you for joining us. I'm Naya Harden. Bill again. And I'm Ken Smith. You see behind us the cloudy skies. That's just a harbinger because we're in for some dicey weather later on. Depending on where you live, it could be even severe. Let's get back over to meteorologist Peter Sherwood in the WO Severe Weather Center. I want to point out the newest severe risk map that came out this morning. You can see all the areas outlined in yellow, especially along the I-95 corridor and some of our south and eastern counties are under the level two risk for severe storm threat. You can see there, that's where we're watching the potential for damaging wind speeds and an isolated tornado or two cannot be ruled out. Let's get to the radar this morning and you can see the showers that are moving through right now. I don't think anything that's going to develop for this morning will be severe. We're starting to see some steadier rainfall just towards the north and west of the triangle. Look at those showers moving through Roxborough and heading along the I-85 corridor. Things are looking fairly dry in Henderson right now, but that patch of rain that's just towards the south and west will continue to filter towards the north and east. Check out Chapel Hill right now. The roads are wet as you head out to work or school. The kids uh, heading to some of their classes on campus. We are seeing the rain come down at this hour in Chapel Hill, and we have a better chance of seeing storms into the afternoon. Take a look at this massive system. I'm going to focus on the cold front here because where we are seeing a round of severe storms across the south in Alabama and Georgia, we are going to see a round move through. Starting off across our western counties around the lunch hour, moving just towards the east, bringing those storms into the triangle uh, as we head into the one o'clock hour. And then once we head into the five o'clock hour, that's where we're expecting the round of severe storms to get going for our south and eastern counties. Notice what's going to happen. We are going to see drier conditions as we head into the overnight hours with rain gradually clearing out. 45, the current temperature outside right now. And this afternoon is going to be very warm as well, heading to 63 degrees with some strong winds. Coming up, we are going to peel back the layers on our severe risk that we are expecting for today. Brian. Good morning, I'm meteorologist Elizabeth Gardner. Today is the day that a huge system comes across the country and brings us the potential for some strong thunderstorms and possibly even some isolated tornadoes. The system does have a history of producing tornadoes across the Gulf Coast. Our temperatures are going to be on the warm side today, 52 in Roxborough up to mid 60s around Fayetteville, Clinton and Goldsboro. So those warm temperatures don't really roll in until much later in the day, late in the afternoon. So it'll be in the 50s around lunchtime. Here's a look at the system. You can see all the snow with this. So this is uh, a system it's, it's just huge, stretching from Oklahoma all the way toward Washington, D.C., all the way down uh, to the Gulf Coast and up toward the Great Lakes. So it's affecting a lot of people. Um, down to the south, you can see we do have uh, some ongoing severe thunderstorm warnings. Let's go down south. You can see the red shaded area. Um, overnight last night and this morning, we've had a tornado watch. That's the red area. And then the yellow boxes are severe thunderstorm warnings. So we continue to have severe storms down along the Gulf Coast, across parts of Florida and into uh, Mississippi and Alabama. Um, our severe weather threat continues to be in our southeastern counties for that level two risk. That's where we'd have the best chance of seeing any isolated tornadoes later on today. And uh, that level one risk right around the Triangle area from Raleigh eastward. Um, everybody's likely to see some heavy rain out of the system. Future cast showing increasing clouds for us this morning. There could also be a quick shower between say seven and nine from the Triangle area northward. So keep that in mind if you're gonna be traveling during that time. Um, turn on the TV because we'll be able to tell you what's happening. There could be some backups and slowdowns, accidents because of that band of rain that comes through this morning. And then you can see by lunchtime, here comes a heavier band of rain. We're going to see gusty winds up to 30, 35 miles per hour, but the severe storms are likely to be later and a little bit farther east. Two o'clock, looking at rain spreading across the area. But after five, we start to see things really picking up in intensity. At five o'clock from Rocky Mount to Fayetteville to Goldsboro to Clinton, that's where we're seeing some of the stronger storms developing at six o'clock from again Rocky Mount to Fayetteville and then that line slides eastward right there at seven o'clock you see where it's really dark red that's an indication of where we could really start to see some of those stronger storms with the potential for some tornadoes we'll continue to see some rain on and off after that up until around midnight wind speed forecast for everybody it's going to be gusty this afternoon 30 to 35 mile per hour winds and of course we're looking at uh, a mild afternoon with temperatures in the 60s after that we see dry conditions through most of the weekend with a chance of rain late Sunday into Monday. Again, it's a great day to turn on the TV as you start to see thunderstorms coming through the area. If there's something dangerous, we'll be on TV telling you all about it.